It is good to see a creator. This video is going to discuss animated lower thirds and OBS with dockable control panel and the reoccurring issue that people are coming across in regards to permission error with the Lua script that powers the hotkeys. I'm going to provide three solutions. Let's get some. Well, I wanted to make a video to help my creators because it seems like there is a reoccurring issue with the animated lower thirds with dockable control panel video that I made a few days ago. And it seems like there is a problem, a reoccurring problem, with folks having difficulty with the Lua script that powers the hotkeys that controls when the lower third appears and goes away. Some of those creators have made me aware of this issue are Gene Timothy, Film GH, MC Tower One, Dr. Ferg, Fred Creek, Virtue Effect, Defrost 1978, and Daniel Faban. I want to thank you guys very much for commenting. I, like I said before, I read all my comments and I want to thank you guys for making the effort to let me know about the issue. And what I'm going to do now is provide three possible solutions that I hope will fix your issue. Okay, go into Explore and find your C drive and go into Program Files and double click it, open it up and look for OBS-Studio. Right click on that folder and go into Properties. Go into Security and take a look at the list of group or usernames. Can you see there, if you go to the Administrator, you see how full control and modify are, are checked off? You, you have permission for full control and modify. But if you go to your user, you'll notice that full control and modify are not checked off. This means that when you are on your computer and you try to install a script in OBS Studio, it does not have the ability to modify when it gets run. So to change that, go into the Edit button to change permissions for your user. So click Users, click Edit and select full control which will automatically check off modify hit apply hit ok hit ok again and that should fix it now another way of approaching this is to open up the program but not open it as a user open it up as the administrator which by default has full write and read control okay so let's do that now Okay, why don't you click the Windows and the D key so that you're in your desktop and then go into your File Explorer and we're going to go into the C drive so that we can create a shortcut to OBS to the EXE file that starts the program. But when you click it, when you click that shortcut that you've created, it's going to run it in admin mode so that you have all the permissions and all the control to run scripts that can write, read and write and all that stuff. So go to your C drive, click Program Files. Go down and double click the OBS-Studio file. Go into the bin folder, click 64-bit. Scroll down until you see the icon for uh, OBS, which is the EXE file. There it is there. Press and hold the Alt key and drag it over to the desktop. And it should say, create a link. If it doesn't say that, it's not right. You gotta see that. Press and hold Alt, let go, boom. And you should see that little arrow in the lower left-hand corner of the icon. Upon you creating that, right click on that, hit Properties, go to Advanced, and check off Run as Administrator. Hit OK, hit Apply, and hit OK again. And now when you click the program, you will be prompted. The system will say, uh-oh, hey, wait a minute. Are you sure you want to let this program write to your computer? It's going to give you a little like, uh, you know, like it's a little bit worried. Don't worry about it. Double click it. You get that prompt. Do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device? Hit yes. And now you're running OBS in admin mode and you shouldn't have any problems with scripts writing anything, okay? Okay, the next solution was suggested by the developer of the tool. And uh, what he suggests we do is move the Lua script outside of the program files folder. So let's do that now. We'll go into the Explorer here and let's go to the C drive. We'll go to program files. Let's see, let's go to OBS-Studio lower dash thirds, then lower space thirds, and I'm going to highlight the Lua script, hit control X, and I'm going to move it into my downloads folder, okay? Okay, let's open up OBS. Go to tools, scripts. It's still remembering the old location, so I'm going to highlight the lower dash thirds, lower score, hotkeys, dot Lua script, and hit a minus, which will take it away. Then I'll click the plus sign, and it's asking me to find the script, so I'll go to my downloads folder. 
and select the lower thirds, lower score hotkeys, Lua script, hit open, hit close, and that should be it. So I don't know if this is the solution or not. I'm just throwing that at you just to see if maybe it could help you. Let me know in comments if it does help you. Okay, homie, this next video that we're going to be exploring is called StreamDPS.com. It is the math daddy of browser sources for your OBS live stream that provides all kinds of animations and graphics. It is incredible. Follow me over here to hear how it can help your channel get bigger faster. I will talk to you later. Best wishes. Stay strong. Keep fighting.